In this tutorial we're going to show you how to change WordPress to your language. To start off we need to go to the WordPress in your language page on the codex. There'll be a link to this in the description of course. Now if you've downloaded and installed WordPress from wordpress.org without first visiting this page there's a very good chance that you've got WordPress currently in English. Uh, now WordPress is being used by more people all over the world all the time who would likely be very happy to have that in their native language. So what you can actually do here is if you want to create a fresh install you can generally speaking download WordPress in these languages here. Alternatively you can find the language files for them. But we're going to assume for this tutorial that you've already got a WordPress installation up and running and you actually just want to change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change that today and I'm going to use Taiwanese Mandarin as my demonstration language. So we need to go to tw.wordpress.org we can do that by clicking that link there. And what we need to first do is just download this zip file. Once it's finished downloading you need to just open that zip file. It won't take very long. And then when you're there you can just open the folder that it lives in. What you need to now do is open WP content. In here you can see that there's a folder called languages. What we need to do is copy this to our server. You can do that by using FTP, SFTP or SSH. So here you can see on the right hand side I've connected to my server and I've got all of the files there as you would expect and I've got the WP content folder so what I'm going to do is just drag and drop this over to the WP content folder and that's, that's it, that's pasted the languages file in there. So we can just close these two windows now. And then we can go back to our WordPress website. If you refresh the page now, there won't actually be anything different and I'll just show you that now. There are no changes. So what we actually need to do now is edit wpconfig.php. So in the text editor, in the WP content folder that we've been working in already, open up wpconfig.php. Now in this file we simply scroll down to where we find wp-lang and we need to define this as zh underslash tw. Now what this code will be depends on the language that you've installed and you can find a complete list of those on WordPress in your language on the codex. But that's the only change we need to make. So all we need to do now is save and then go back to our WordPress website and refresh. As we can see we have details of this in Mandarin Chinese now. We have the search, you can see it there, as well as recent posts. And if we go back into the dashboard, we can see everything has changed over. So that's the simplest and easiest way to change your WordPress language from English to anything else, if you've already got an installation up and running. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below.